got to the... Welcome back. I actually think I've gone mad tonight. <laughs> it's like some weird nightmare. It was absolutely rubbish. <laughs> I didn't choose what I wanted to sing. At my age, going down is easy, but getting up is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> you are responsible for putting these acts through. Get right. back in your chairs. <laughs> this show could give you the money to buy some socks. <laughs> I oh, absolutely he's love that guy. Yeah, he's he a legend. Lovely. lovely guy. Now, Stephen Mulhern was there, weren't you? Yes, and What I'm a fantastic there, evening. Not. Yeah, do you know what? It was amazing. And I tell you what, weirdly, the most exciting night, I think, for the judges and the acts, because no one really knew what was going to happen. Out of the blue, the studio audience were like, oh, they should have gone through, they should have gone through. And everyone thought they would, but it comes back to basics. If the audience at home don't vote, you can't complain. Mm. You know, I'm obsessed by Britain's Got Talent. I watch it. They were, they're a bit like the Warblers in Glee, aren't yes. they? You know, like the, the Blaine band in the Glee. And I thought, I didn't think last night was as good as their audition, because the audition no. made me laugh. Right. But this one was just like a good performance. But the thing was, is that the studio audience, as I say, they were really going for them. And honestly, I thought they were going to make it down to the final three, but, oh, uh, but yeah. clearly didn't. No. Um, Mexican mayhem. Can we talk about them? And Please. can you also tell me, where were the judges? Well, Amanda and Michael on ITV2's More Talent last night, they actually apologised for putting Mexican mayhem through. And yet they were in hiding on ITV1 because they were embarrassed by the whole thing. Is that thing. why oh, they really? left? Because yes. it came back and they weren't even there in the audience. Yeah. And it was like, where are the I two they're in the loo or something. When yeah, you've got to go, you've got to go. They literally <laughs> hid you themselves know what I mean? in shame. Oh. Fantastic. Yes, and that's why Simon, you know, he's, uh, he's had a little pop at the judging this <laughs> week. Um, but what about our winner last night, the public's vote? Mm. Jai, he yeah. was amazing, wasn't I'm he? I'm so pleased. Come on, the Scots. He was very... I knew you were going to Come on. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I was like, come on, Edward, come on. Yeah, um, but he was brilliant. And I think I think he's the dark horse. Okay. I think he's the one to watch tomorrow night. So, um, so yeah, keep your eye on him. He's got a really great, exciting, powerful it? voice as well. Yes, very, well, all Scots do. Yeah, well, exactly. They Just do. don't miss me. It's but he wasn't, he wasn't nervous last night either, because in the first round... Yeah, you could he was tell. Really nervous. He was nervous. And obviously the nerves will always affect the voice first. Mm. Um, but he was very strong and, yeah, the audience at home obviously clearly loved him and put him through first. He reminds me a bit like Shane Ward in yeah. that essence. And, and he won the X Factor, obviously, and he's got that A X harder Factor, face. Possibly. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little, little bit tougher looking. Exactly. <laughs> I liked him. What like. about Jessica? Oh, now, what was going on there? She said that she didn't choose her song and it's not fair. Well, do you know what?